Hey guys, even here, with another video today, I was not planning on making another video, but there's been a development in the Samson Dauda and Milos Sarcher saga. Basically what happened is Samson addressed one very important question, who is his next coach? He kind of speaks about that a little and also about him and his relationship with Milos, stuff like that. Actually, tomorrow he's gonna do a Q&A, he's gonna try and answer all the questions fans have, but today he addressed this one question that probably everybody was asking him all the time, everywhere, in his DMs, in his Q&A, in his comments, everybody wants to know who is the next coach, what happened with Milos, also he posted a little physique update at 6 days out of Arnold UK, which he's doing by the way, but the things he says in this story, some of them are really interesting really curious so let's go i'll play this for you guys and then i'm gonna comment on it arnold classic peak week next week uh what are we doing about it uh, who's taking me into the show the person that's taking me into the show is right there for next week you know and if those people are wondering you know mel basically she picked me for both um romania last week um romania last year and prague she was the one who did the peak for those two shows so this one for her she's done it before recently so she's going to be doing Arnold Classic for me next week. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. I gotta pause right here. I'm going to play the rest of it later, but I gotta pause right here. Guys, what did we just hear? Samson's wife did his peak week for Romania Pro last year and for Prague as well. Weren't those two shows the shows Samson looked the best? He definitely did improve conditioning from Mr. Olympia to Romania and to Prague. So, I guess props to her for that, but I'm really confused. First of all, is his wife a bodybuilding coach? Is she a professional coach? Is she a competitor? I don't know anything about her, you know, being a bodybuilding coach. I only know about her as uh, Samson's wife, but put that aside. Guys, do you remember when Romania happened and Prague happened, Milos was on the podcasts. He was talking about coaching Samson. And he was talking about how he, he improved his conditioning for his shows. I know Milos personally. I know his integrity. This guy would never lie online. I know how important his integrity is for him. This is the guy that was always outspoken, always telling the truth, even if it had horrible consequences for him. So I'm pretty sure what happened here is... Samson allowed his wife to prep him and he was probably telling Milos that Milos was prepping him. Milos was probably giving him protocols and checking out his conditioning and everything, and he was just listening to his wife. He had a coach, he listened to another coach, or in this case, his wife. Is that what happened? Because I'm pretty sure it is. If Milos does a QA, and a I'm gonna ask him, did he even know about this? Was he aware that he wasn't doing protocols for Samson for these two shows? It was actually Samson's wife who was prepping him. In my previous video about Samson, somebody wrote a comment, and it's a top comment basically, I didn't even heart it because I didn't believe it was true, it seemed like a, just a wild guess, but a comment said uh, Samson had two, well, coaches, I guess, and when he had that mental breakdown, wifey took over. And this was the comment with a lot of likes, a lot of people agreed with it, I didn't, but now, now I gotta say, I kinda do. I gotta say I do, it seems like that, it seems like wifey took over, actually. Maybe there's more to it, maybe Milos allowed this to happen, maybe he let them have fun, but, but I don't think so, I really don't think so, and you're gonna know why I don't think so, and why do I think that this, this is the exact reason why these guys stopped working together, it was not Samson who fired Milos. I think Milos ended this relationship because Samson's wife was mixing herself too much into this client-coach relationship, and Milos just wouldn't have it. I don't know that, it's just my guess, but based on what Samson says next, you might get the same impression. Let's watch the rest of the video, and I'm gonna pause when we get to that part. Everybody's asking, man, who's gonna be my next coach, who's gonna be... We have no idea, we just not even thinking, no way. Look. All right, as far as the new coach, Samson has no idea, right? Should we believe him? Me personally, no, I call BS. Why? Here's why. 
everybody else can see it. Milos announces that, that he and Samson Dada have parted ways. The Arnold Classic was their last dance, says Milos. I mean, so, maybe that's well, what maybe that maybe that's what they both needed, you know, fresh start. Yeah, to be anyway, speculating on who's going to work with next or what? I have a couple ideas. So, yeah, I'm sure we all do. <laughs> Honey, uh, I mean that would be cool, but I don't see that happening. Maybe. Not even the top three. Top Look at those eyes. Look at this guy's eyes behind the cup. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> He knows, he knows. Mike was on point. Fuad knows who's going to be the next coach. Maybe you're going to hear soon, like tomorrow or maybe later. But yeah, I think Samson knows already who's going to be the next guy coaching him. I don't think it's just Fuad who has ideas and Samson has no clue about it. No, 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 no. I think they know. And you just saw, I mean, based on the way uh, Fuad reacted, he knows he doesn't want to share it right now, which completely makes sense. It would not be cool if he jumped from one coach to another. It's the same thing like with relationships. If you break up a relationship, you can't start the next one the next day. Because it might seem like the new relationship started before the last one ended. And, you know, simply out of respect for his former coach, he should probably do an off-season alone or with his wife. And then when he starts the Olympia prep, announce the new coach. That would be cool. If he already started working with somebody, then, you know, say it. But I don't think that's the case. His wife is probably prepping him right now, but he probably has a very good idea who's gonna be his next coach. Let's continue. The next part is very interesting. It's about what I was saying earlier. Check this out. I don't know about you guys, man. You know what? We, When you're with somebody for a long time, you're emotionally involved with that person. It's a relationship. It's not just, it's not a professional relationship, it's a full-on relationship. And when you're no longer with that person, those emotions are still there. The last thing you think after that is, okay, who am I going to, honestly, you got it, come on, man, you need some time. And for us is, we just want to get the show over next week, and we want to take that time to freaking let the dust settle over. To me, this sounded like Samson is sorry for not working with Milos anymore. Or, should I say, for ending this relationship. It seems like some outside factor affected him to make this decision. I could be totally wrong. Maybe he ended the relationship because he wasn't happy with conditioning. And that's it. As simple as that. And he just likes Milos as a person. So he's sorry about that. But maybe, maybe it's something else. Maybe it's, like I said, the reason this relationship ended was because Samson's wife was prepping Samson when Milos thought he was prepping him and Milos got mad or something like that. It's a possibility, guys. But the other things he says that he doesn't want to choose a new coach before all the dust settles. Yeah, I get that. However, he also says this. Right now, as Milos just said, we're not in a clear mind to make any kind of decision about that, you know, going forward. He's not in the clear mind to make a decision like that right now. But he was in clear of mind to stop working with the coach who made him what he is today. So please, those people, I, I mean, I've got loads of DMs about the recommendations and stuff like that. Please respect that enough to just like, let us make our own time, make it our own mind. Let's think, let's think that's the self bit. And uh, you know what, man, it hurts. I ain't gonna lie, it hurts, you know. I'm, I'm, it's fact, it hurts. It does feel like you lost somebody. It's not getting away with that. It does feel like you lost somebody in your life. Even though you haven't, you're still friends with them, you still chat to them, everything is too cool. But you're not, you're not with them in that same way, so you're going to feel a little bit of that loss. And you need time. You need time, and that's what we're just saying, man. We need time. And we need to sort of have a clear head to go into this show first, and then take a break and take some time before we then decide what we're going to do from there. But right now, we have no interest in... The last thing I'm ever going to do is jump from one coach and then write the next following week because I got a show jumping with the next one. That would be the worst decision ever. And I, I just can't do it. Even just for the sheer part of respect, I wouldn't do it anyway. You know, I'd rather skip the show, lose or do whatever than to do that just for pure fact of respect. So I'm sorry if you guys don't get it. For those of people that do, thank you. For those that don't get it, well, I can't do anything about that. But just for pure part of respect, I wouldn't do that anyway. 
So there you go, basically that's it. I respect that Samson doesn't want to share who's going to be his next coach. I think he knows, but he doesn't want to share online, which is cool, which is really good. It's respectful towards Milos. I also believe that most likely the reason why he stopped working with Milos is because at this level, I mean, Milos got him to this level, but at this level, he needs maybe a different coach who maybe has a different formula, different approach that might work for Samson. And he could bring out the best out of Samson, like the most shredded version of him. Imagine if he brought like Ronnie Cohen level of conditioning or Hari Japan conditioning. I mean, with this guy, if it is possible, if it's not like the thick skin problem or something like that. If that happened, that would be like epic. So changing a coach at this point of his career might be might be a good idea. What Milos is doing is apparently not working for conditioning, for the end a part of the prep. For everything else, for bringing him up, improving his physique and all that, it worked wonders. His physique is done, you know? Development-wise, he's perfect, pretty much. It can get better, sure, but it's good, it's very, very good, it's the best in the world. What he needs now is different. He needs fine polishment, somebody who is going to get him shredded, and that's it. So, I get that, I just don't like the fact that Samson's wife was prepping him for Romania. It seems like she had a little bit more effect on him in making some of these decisions. It seems like that. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Anyways, we got a new physique update of Samson. Six days out of Arnold UK and you know, he looks good, he looks great. Is he gonna be more shredded for this show than he was at the Arnold Ohio? I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I don't think so. You know, he looks good right here, but, you know, he says that he had to drink so much water from the Arnold to, you know, deplete himself again, to uh, stop rebounding, you know, because he was probably holding too much water because he was too dehydrated for too long. He also wasn't eating a lot of carbs, he depleted himself completely, so here he is flat, and yeah, this is how Samson looks like when he is flat. He never gets flat, he just gets drier. So here he looks good, conditioning is good, we'll see if his wife is gonna pick him better than Milos. It's possible, you know, she prepped him for Romania and Prague, and that was a really good showing of Samson. It was more dry than Mr. Olympia that year, so we'll see, maybe this is gonna be an improved version of Samson, but it doesn't really matter, and if he shows up the same, or a little bit worse even, he's gonna win the show, who's gonna beat him? Hadi is probably not showing up, if Hadi shows up, it doesn't matter how much improved Samson is, he can't be that much improved in two weeks, Rafa is not there either, so he's going against 4th and 5th and 6th place finisher, so even if Samson is 20% worse, he still wins this. Although maybe I'm seeing some new lines in his glutes, but yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty much the same, maybe a little bit different, maybe a bit worse, maybe a bit better, we'll see, but yeah, he's winning the Arnold UK, unless Hardy shows up, in that case, he's second, and that's it, it's very simple, but we'll see in 6 days from now, whatever you guys think about what he said about him and Milos, and a new coach, tell me down below in the comment section, guys, if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more like this, subscribe guys thank you so much see you soon all the best and bye bye